Hello, I'm David Chaston with 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock. With news, the crisis in emerging markets is rocking first world investors. Overnight, Turkey's worsening currency crisis sent world equities lower and cut into the value of emerging market stocks and currencies, while boosting the price of assets that investors flock to in a crisis. This morning, Wall Street is lower, but not excessively so. But late yesterday, Tokyo closed 2% lower in a major reaction. Hong Kong was down 1.5%, and Shanghai was down 0.3%. Sydney closed 0.4% lower, while the NZX was down 0.7%. The fact that Wall Street's correction is restrained, and most European markets aren't slipping like the Asian ones did yesterday, probably means the immediate threats are subsiding in investor eyes. But the situation in Turkey is not good. It has alarmed investors by making its central bank a political arm of its president, and he has appointed a family member as finance minister. And he is saying he is looking for new friends, and that means NATO's southern flank is now exposed. Turkey is promising a new plan. The ECB is worried that some EU banks are excessively exposed to Turkish risks, which is why bank stocks are getting marked down. And the fallout extends to India and to Argentina, where they just raised their policy rate by 500 basis points to 45%. South Africa has been buffeted hard too. That is all the, all the signs of a contagion. In China, they're working hard to insulate themselves from the US tariffs, and now this growing emerging market pullback. They're doing it with more debt and easier credit. In July, China's banks beat expectations with a 76% jump in lending from the same month a year ago. However, the July growth was less than the June growth, even if it did beat expectations. U.S. Treasury 10-year is holding at 2.88%, with the U.S. 210 curve still just at 26 basis points. The Aussie government 10-year is at 2.58%, that's down one basis point, while the Chinese 10-year is at 3.60%, that's up three basis points. The New Zealand government 10-year is at 2.60, that's down one basis point. And gold is down sharply today, down $18 and now just at $1,193 an ounce in New York. The price of gold hasn't been this low in 18 months. And US oil prices are soft today, now below $66 a barrel. The Brent benchmark is now just over $71 a barrel. These represent $2 falls, driven, it seems, by rising production and softening demand prospects, especially in emerging market economies. And the Kiwi dollar is starting today, little change from yesterday at 65.8 US cents. On the cross rates, we're still at 90.5 Aussie cents and 57.7 Euro cents. That leaves the TWI at 69.8, unchanged from yesterday, but still very near its three-year low. I'm David Chaston. That was 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.